Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More and giving an update on my new brokerage, new space, um, starting in my temporary space right here just to show you that we have our furniture in, our desks, our bookcases, and all that good stuff. So before we get started, I'll show you around. Um, make sure you check out InvestorMore.com. A lot more information on the brokerage, being an agent, flipping, rentals, all that good stuff. And um, a lot of videos on YouTube as well for this process of starting my new office and brokerage. So I um, went with uh, just espresso uh, color. I think we got six regular desks, two fancy desks for me and Nikki, and then um, some bookcases, some file cabinets, some other stuff. So that all came in this week. They're gonna be installed next week. And we are one week away from moving into the new office. So I don't know if everything will be completely ready, but it's gonna be good enough to move in. And we'll walk over there right now. On the way, you can see all our other fancy furniture. This all came out of the other space, which we probably will lose, use very little of it. Um, our chairs came in. So got chairs for everyone, that's for the desks and then all our files and stuff from the last few years of closings. And again, if you guys haven't seen it, this is where we're working right now, which used to be a thrift store, but um, until the other space is done, we're all doing the open concept workspace, which is not amazing. I think people are getting pretty tired of it, but um, we'll be over there soon with our own offices. And. Here we go. So, and they are working over there right now on quite a few different things that I'll show you. There is the new covered patio. We have the two colors. We're going to paint the outside. So I think we're going to do the dark gray is going to be the main body, so kind of above the arch, moving all the way over to there. And then around the edges will be the light gray and I think the arch. And then we'll have a sign made for the arch. We'll have another awning for the arch as well. Then we'll put a dark gray metal roof on there. And I think we're going to paint the post black, put up a black wire railing system right there and you can see the deck they just finished that up oh trex deck is actually the same deck i put on my own house so we had some leftover materials we could reuse here and then we'll have a couple ceiling fans in there and finish this bottom off I'm not sure yet but it will be a finished uh ceiling there and my wife wants to put a couple of porch swings in there as well. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, it'd be really awesome to have the garage door here we can open, but that's a later project. All right, so here we are inside, um, getting closer, <laughs> a lot of stuff done. Nikki and I just blue taped everything in here. So there's a lot of blue tape around just for touch paint up, paint, ah, paint touch up stuff, other things. Here's the desk that we built the reception desk. So we'll have kind of metal um, corners that cover that. And then we'll have black granite countertop there, a granite little lower area. Then there'll be just kind of a laminate black counter for the reception area, with maybe a file cabinet underneath. And then you can see all the colors we've been looking at. Um, still just trying to fi decide on final colors for some of the accent walls, our cards, our signs, and we're leaning towards darker now for blue steel, but hopefully we get that decided on soon. For the flooring, they're working on that right now. We're gonna do that kind of lighter, just a, a wet seal with epoxy over it. Um, so you'll still see a bunch of the blemishes, stuff on the floor, kind of give it that industrial look. That's just a basic epoxy, and that was too brown for us, so, um, Hopefully that will look better. And then, like I said, most of the paint's done, not all of it. Again, this will kind of be 
my office here. Still have to do some touch up stuff. Then more offices down there. This is the awning that will go over the front door. So they're actually working on putting that up here pretty soon, or maybe they're just moving it for the floor guys. We have kind of barn doors that are going up there. They're still not here yet. They should be here soon. It's been a while. Um, coffee bar with backsplash. Then we have the fridge that goes in there in the other temporary spot. So that's done. The workroom with lights, a bunch of touch up. That's where we'll have our copy machine. Um, scanner, shredder, different things in that room. Let's see. Here is the women's bathroom, which still needs some work, mostly done. Um, these are the granite, not granite, concrete vanities that my old contractor did, who we actually fired. Um, concrete was his specialty. Not that you could tell from the work he did on this one or the other one because as my plumber showed me, his drain doesn't go all the way back and it's at an angle. So water is just gonna sit right there and the drain won't properly fit on there at an angle. So we've gotta chisel, grind that down somehow to make it flat. It's probably gonna look really messed up. He didn't do his holes right for the faucet. So that's gotta take some work and just some other issues with it. It's really deep. It didn't need to be that deep, so um, not amazing, but you just have to deal with that kind of stuff and move on. Here is the men's bathroom, and yes, our plumber is putting in the toilet urinal, finishing all that next week, so it'll be done. And this one is even more messed up than the other one with how, you know, it's just chipping. Look at this is all messed up. Again, the drain is done wrong. So we'll try and make them work for now, but eventually we're probably gonna have to do something different with those, which sucks because they're like 600 pounds. <laughs> it was really hard for the guys to put them in, but oh well. So um, we'll go show you the floors real quick, what they're doing here. So they're working in there, just grinding down. The epoxy so this is one of the test floors where we did blue epoxy so they're grinding that down um, and then they'll do a, a wet seal and then epoxy over it and we're not really grinding down this part as much more just a buff and then uh, we'll put the wet seal down so you can see where they ground this down too and we'll leave some of the just you can see the patches, different things in there. Um, we'll just leave those there. We don't want it to be perfect. All right, so here's the kitchen with the backsplash we just did yesterday. The fridge is here. The dishwasher is in. Um, just need like I said, the plumber's coming next week, so our faucet needs to go in, which is here. Uh, the microwave is here. Our little bar area is right there and ready to go. So we're getting very close. In the conference room, where we might do an accent wall in here as well, but again, that's not a huge priority at the moment. Our huge priority is getting the floors done, getting things done well enough so that we can build the furniture, move in, and uh, have our own offices again. <laughs> so um, that's the space. Like I said, we're really close. People have been working really hard to get everything done on time. And uh, things have gotten much better since we uh, got rid of that one contractor and brought someone else in. So hopefully, Next week, I can do a video of us moving in. We'll see. <laughs> um, I better because our, our internet is switching June 1st, so I have no choice but to move in at that point. And uh, we'll go from there.
So thanks for watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Leave comments if you have any um, questions or concerns or see anything we're messing up. <laughs> and uh, we'll have some more videos soon. And again, check out investormore.com for everything else I've got going on.